A ton of people don't know this, but there's actually a ton of codes you can enter in the MTG Arena shop to get a ton of free cosmetics and packs in game. It's really, really easy to do, especially if you're on PC, but it can be done for both PC and mobile. To enter codes on PC, just go to the store and in the upper right, enter the code. For mobile, it's a little bit more complicated and I'm actually just going to redirect you to the link in the upper right in that little card and the first link in the description, uh, which is going to be a video on how to claim codes on mobile. It involves logging into your wizard's account through a website, so it's just a little bit more complicated. But yeah, you guys should check that out because uh, you will need to do that in order to use any of these codes. Alrighty, let's jump into these, starting with what I think are the most useful ones, the pack codes. Alrighty, so every time a new set comes out on Arena, they give out a code to everyone that gives you three free packs of that set. And this works all the way back to Eldraine. The convention for how the code is named has changed a couple times, so it's not as simple as it has been recently. Uh, but yeah, going through the list, you can go all the way back to Eldraine. Alrighty, so let's go through them one by one. Starting off, play Eldraine. Pretty simple. Followed by play Theros and play Ikoria. After that, it's play M21, play Zendikar, and then they weirdly did try Kaladesh, which is only going to get you one pack of Kaladesh Remastered, but hey, it's still a free pack. After that, it's play Kaldheim. So you can see all of those codes on screen now, and each one of those is going to get you three packs. So in total, we are already looking at a decent number of packs. Again, try Kaladesh is only going to be one, but we are looking at 19 packs just from those seven codes. Alrighty, there's a lot more where those came from. We have Play Strixhaven, and then after this one, we start to see a change in how that they decided to do like the wording on everything. So then we start going to just three letters to represent it. So we stri play Strixhaven, then we jump to play D&D &D for Adventures in the Forgotten Realm, play Mid for Innistrad Midnight Hunt, play Vow for Innistrad Crimson Vow, then we move to play Neo for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, then our first alchemy set hits and we have play neo alchemy and then after that we have play snc i really enjoy these like packs uh and getting all of them even if you're not playing alchemy or something like that the codes are still really useful as they do progress you down your wild card tracks by the end of this you're gonna have a ton of cards and a ton more wild cards so it's really just a great thing to do even if you don't necessarily care about the cards in m21 or adventures in the forgotten realm it can be helpful just to get those wild cards Alrighty, and so for the last batch of pack-based codes, we have a weird one that doesn't follow any of the conventions, play Alchemy New Capenna, so that'll get you three Alchemy New Capenna packs. Then there's play HBG, which is the Baldur's Gate set or the Alchemy Horizon set. Then we have play DMU, which is going to be Dominari United. We have play DMU Alchemy, which again, three packs of Dominari United Alchemy. And then the most recent one, which was just added yesterday as of the release of this video, play Bro, which will get you three Brothers War packs. If you're watching this in the future, there may be more packs, so you can check the description. The second link in the description will be the updated version of this video if it exists. Also know play Bro Alchemy is most likely going to be the next code if you just want to try that one, if Alchemy Brothers War has already come out. But yeah, those are pretty much all of the pack-based codes however there are more some are cosmetic some are not so let's jump into a couple more codes that can be really really helpful Alrighty, so here are a bunch of cosmetic and a couple non-cosmetic codes that don't necessarily get you packs. They are groups and sets of five, so the far left ones, the Enlighten Me, Inner Demon, Over the Moon, Shields Up, and Written in Stone are all stained glass planeswalkers from War of the Spark, followed by Foil, Fungus, Parallax, Potion, Shiny, Goblin, Pirate, Sparkle, Druid, and Super Scry, which are all going to be commons from when styles were first introduced to the game. Uh, so for example, Super Scry is a version of Opt, so you actually get the card Opt, and a parallax style for it, which is pretty cool. Then we have 10 codes that all relate to New Capenna, and they're all really, really awesome sleeves. Those are kind of the standard rewards. The two really cool ones are the ones I put at the bottom, which is FNM at home and level up. These are both really cool. So level up is one you actually may want to wait on putting in. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to give you 2000 XP for the battle pass. This can be really helpful if you decide later down the road or like you end up 
you know, at the end of a battle pass and you're just a couple levels off and you can't get more XP, instead of having to pay for levels to try and finish out a battle pass, or sorry, a mastery pass, uh, you can instead use that level up code to get two free levels, so 2000 XP, which is really, really awesome. In addition, FNM at home you should do right now, and it's really just two random cosmetics. Really, really awesome. They can be sleeves, cards, avatars. I've seen pets from it. So you can get some really, really awesome stuff. And that's actually what I'm really curious about is what people are getting. So if you do enter that code, leave a comment down below with what you get from it, because I'm trying to compile a list of everything that I've seen people get. Overall, it's my favorite code here just because it is kind of random. It's kind of like opening a pack, but either way, really, really fun stuff. Uh, you also get to now open all of those packs you've gotten. If you found this video useful, hit that like button and subscribe. Um, I wanted to make sure everyone was aware that these codes do exist. You should be seeing in the background now my pack opening from all of them. There's a lot of stuff. Again, let me know if you get anything cool in the comments down below. The end of this video is just going to be that pack opening. So I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, you can see all of the codes on screen now. Bye. Go! Yeah.